things today. Like we're gonna go and we're gonna see some things, some hands-on science stuff. Hey. Hey. hey, come on on. Hey, hey. how's it going today? Going great. Where are you guys headed? We are headed to the McWayne Center. All right, welcome to the Cash Bus, a video game that takes place right here on my bus. Yes. Woo! It's awesome. It's right. awesome. You guys Woo. ready to play? Yeah, we yeah. are. Awesome. All right. I'm ready. I'm ready. Mm -hmm. Tell me your names. I'm Sully Heller, and I'm Shay Trawick. All right, Sully and Trey, here we go. You're headed for the McWayne Center. You got ten blocks to earn some cash. Woo. Your ten first blocks. question is worth twenty-five dollars. Twenty-five dollars. Here we go. All right, here it is. The definition of giftedness has been divided for many years. What nationally known organization defined gifted students as needing special services in order to fully develop their capabilities? Pretty sure it's the PTO, like parent-teacher organization or something. I think it's probably National Association for Gifted Children. Yeah. Sully, you are correct! Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Way, way to go, Sully! Way to go! Way to be right! Alright, that's $25. Yeah. Yeah. For another $25, our second question. In 1991, the dropout rate for gifted students was estimated to between 18 and 25 percent, far exceeding the U.S. dropout rate of 12.1 percent at that time. What key programs keep uh, advanced learners engaged in school? Um, I'm, maybe recess. I think recess keeps them engaged. Not really. I probably bet it's gifted education programs for students. You are correct, Mr. Sully. Woo, woo. That is $50. You're amazing. You're amazing. All right. According to A Nation Deceived, how schools hold back America's brightest students, there is an educational strategy that shows substantial positive academic effects for gifted students. This strategy may include early entrance to school, advanced subjects, and cross-grade classes. What is this strategy called? Oh, I want to say it's like keep on keeping on, like keep going fast. Well, I... I bet you it's not, because I think it's acceleration. That's Sully, you are correct. Sully! Way to go. Woo! Yeah, you're doing it. Yes. All right, your next group of questions is worth $50 each. $50, when, $50. When comparing Woo! gifted students to their equally bright peers, were found to approach cognitive tasks in a unique way that supported a divergent thinking. Experts decided to include this important trait as an important factor in gifted education. What is that important trait? I don't know. It's either it's either like lifting weights or it could be like that thinking outside the box thing they talk about. I don't know. What's so, that? Sort of close. Like I, it's creativity. Creativity. Are you sure? Sure. Creativity is correct. Yes. Yeah. Woo. Woo. Right. Woo. Give me some doubt on that hey. one. Hey. All right. All right. Your next question is worth fifty dollars. According to well-known psychologist Dr. Sylvia Rim. Gifted students have social emotional needs that can interfere with productive achievement and a happy lifestyle. Fear of failure, in turn causing a child, a gifted child to avoid failure by refusing to even try something, is an obstacle to learning that is often referred to as what? Ah, oh, they gotta get it right or they get all upset, like they're stressed. What is that? Uh, perfectionism? That is correct! Let's yeah. go Perfectionism! Alright, we've come to a red light. Yes! You were up to $200, but at a red light, that triggers a red light challenge. Red, red light, light challenge! This is how the red light challenge works. It's a multiple answer question. You have to get all parts of the question correct in order to win the money. If you do, it's worth an extra $250. Bucks. $250? Yes! All right, there's no penalty for wrong answers on this one. So, all, so both of you call out any answer you think could be part of the right answer until you have all the answers and time or time has run out. If you do miss them, you don't lose money. You don't get a strike. You don't get the extra $250. You have 30 seconds to answer from the time I finish asking. Are you ready? Yeah! Ready! Woo! Ready is right. National Association for Gifted Children identifies characteristics that many gifted individuals share. Name five of these characteristics. Uh, being overconfident. No. Keen sense of humor. Yes, Sully. Yes. Uh, getting in trouble for talking out. No. Has a good memory. Yes, that's two. Oh. Uh, they get they get really bored in class. Uh, has a vivid imagination. That's so three. You two, you more. Um, two more. Two more. They they get it, so they quit. They just don't want to do anymore, so they get off task. It's curious. That's four. You need one more. Uh, they brag all the time because they're in GRC. Strong-willed. 
Strong willed, you've got it. That is yes! five. Great job with the red light challenge. You're up to four hundred and fifty dollars. Four hundred and fifty dollars. All right, we've only got three blocks to go. Oh, three blocks. Your next question. Now remember, you've still got no strikes, and you still have both your shout outs. Oh, good. All right, for this question, gifted children can intellectually understand abstract concepts, but may be unable to deal with those concepts emotionally. Intensive sensitive sensitivity can cause gifted children to take criticism or even general anger very personally. What is this intense sensitivity referred to? It's kind of like, like sunburn or something or the sadness or something. Oversensitivities is what I'm going with. You are correct. Way to go, yes! Sally. Yes, yes, oversensitivity. All right, your next question. We're getting close. A gifted child may be able to participate in adult conversations about issues such as global warming or world, world hunger one minute and the next minute, cry and whine because a sibling took a favorite toy. These behaviors are attributed to what type of development? Oh, oh. Nice. I don't know what that is. I we may have to do a shout out. Use our shout out. We're going to have to shout use our out. shout out. All right, let yeah. me pull over. All right, flag somebody down for a shout out. I'm on cash bus and I need somebody to answer a question for me. Hey, hey, yep, hey, I'll you've, got a, you've, got, you've got this student that can like participate in conversations with adults, like global warming, big, smart conversations. But the next minute they like cry when their sibling takes their toy. What's that because of? It's called uh, it's asynchronous development. Ah, asynchronous development. You good with that? I'm done asynchronous, with it. Asynchronous, asynchronous development. development. All right, you use your shout out, and lucky for you, asynchronous development is correct. Yeah, yes. I love a shout out. Yes. Thank you. All right, you've won five hundred fifty dollars yeah. from the cash bus. Five. You've made it here. Good job. But. Here's what you can do. You've won the 550. You can take that money and go, or you can take the video bonus challenge and it's double or nothing. What do you want to do? We're, take the money. We're gonna take the money. Taking the money. All right, Woo! here's your 550 bucks. Enjoy the McWayne Center. Thanks yes! for playing the cash bus. Yes! a great job. No, you we did got too. that. Now yeah. that's gifted education in living color. That's what makes gifted education important.